I am Shane. And Kelsey. And, and this, this is Dixie. Is Dixie. And, and we're, we're Love Hot for Life. Life. We've now been on the road for 103 weeks in our self-built sliding camper. That's right, guys. This week, we covered a whole lot of ground. We finished up in Virginia and have made it all the way to the border of South Carolina and Georgia, where we've been doing a whole lot of crystal hunting. It is a bit of a magical place. <laughs> Y'all be sure and comment below and let us know what you think of this week's video. You know what I'm not going to miss about Virginia? All of this rain. It has been raining nonstop for six weeks now. Well, maybe not nonstop. We did manage to convert a complete shuttle bus over our time here. And today it is time to pack up and get out of here. As soon as it stops. I'm not driving in this stuff. But it is time to finally get out of Virginia. We're gonna be headed a little south to North Carolina and then making a straight line out west. It is a little bittersweet though, because while we may not miss all of this rain, we are going to miss all of the people here at this hiker's hostel. We did have one thing that we wanted to accomplish before we left, and that was being yeah. Doc's first patients. She's gonna help a whole lot of people in this bus. Yeah. distillery only allows you to stay on property if uh, you are part of Harvest Host. It would have been nice to know before we came here. We're a little bit disappointed, but I'm sure we'll find somewhere great to stay tonight. Yeah, I tried to call them. They didn't answer and their website said nothing about it. I was a little skeptical, but now the way we were we were told that we're not welcome here because we're not in Harvest Host despite willing to pay. I'm a little upset. So yeah, y'all stay away from this place. Yeah, that sucks, and we're about to do something we really don't enjoy doing, and that is driving at night. Not the best way to hit the road again, guys. Well, with a quick phone call, we found a bar with a band that'll let us stay in the parking lot. Screw them. Yep, this will worry better. I promise in the very, very near future, there's going to be more adventures and woodland videos. But first, we're in North Carolina and we're here for a reason. The reason is someone that follows our channel contacted us and they were looking for a little help with their van. So we're going to stop by and help them out with a part of their conversion that they just couldn't do themselves. This will be fun. It should be fun. I'm always excited uh, to meet our subscribers any chance we get, and uh, this is a pretty cool way to do it. I hope we can help her out. What you got there? Guess. You get one guess. I have absolutely no idea. This is an oven. What? It's a fold-up Coleman oven. So these sit on top of the Coleman stoves. 
So you fold it out, pop the top up, and then you sit it on top of your gas stove like this, and you have an oven. Awesome! Tip gauge, everything. Crazy! Yeah. What an awesome experience that was. Even more so, we're off to the Uahari, I think. Is how you pronounce this forest? I'm not sure. Y'all tell me if I'm right. Because we got friends meeting us there. I don't even have to find a camping spot tonight. Tonight's been, or today's been such a fantastic day. It has been a fantastic day and meeting Sue was awesome. We're really happy we could help her out with her solar and also happy to have a new friend. driving in in the dark last night so we found this nice little parking area to hang out in until we could find something cooler in the daylight but our buddies Mary and Kyle have showed up and we are all really excited for a day of Shane not working he is cooking though does it still work I don't know check out all these biscuits there's so many we're making two gravies, one vegetarian, one not vegetarian. Hey guys, where are we going? Uh, I don't know. Head. We're going on adventure. We're going down the road. We're going where the road takes us. Yeah. That's what it is. Not a lot of cell service here. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Adventure time. Yay. Let's go, Diesel. Yay! Are you gonna ride with us? <laughs> Dixie's ready to go. if I die. guys I think this is home for the night we found a uh, free campground called Yates campground but really guys it's just a forest road with some pull-offs beside it we went as far as we could with the love hut the tree coverage was the problem not the road the roads are great and as long as you're not as tall as us you might be able to go a little further but we found a really pretty spot that will fit both rigs Do you know what my phone says it says that Bigfoot lives here. A lot of people say Bigfoot lives here. We're living, we're parking in Bigfoot's backyard. Are we gonna see him tonight? In the morning? I feel like he's a morning guy. Yeah, you think he's gonna be in the morning picture? Mm -hmm, I do. Look out for that morning post tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know, I think Sasquatch could live here. Look at all the clearance he has. He can walk through these trees, no prob. It's gonna be a pretty sunset. Well, guys, we did not get to see at Bigfoot last night. We're going to give it another night and see if we get to see him during a full moon. But for, <laughs> for right now, we are making our way down to the creek because the other thing that this area is known for is gold. 
No quartz. Oh, it's just a bad place to stand. I'm in the middle of the hole. Hey, Mary, is Sasquatch out there tonight? I was gonna say no, but then I just heard that sound, and now I'm all confused and scared. He's, if I say he's not out there, he's gonna show up. If I say he's out there, he could get confident and then show up. So there's no winning here. Kyle, what were you saying? Tonight would be the best night for him to travel? Oh yeah, it's the full moon. You like crystals, Mr. Sasquatch. I kind of want him to come so we can be friends with him. <laughs> I'm hiding <laughs> from my hood. I don't think that was a very good Sasquatch call. It's okay, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> he can't see me if I can't see him. Well, hanging out with uh, our friends Kyle and Mary, and of course, Diesel. Don't forget Diesel. Don't forget Diesel, he's the coolest. Uh, was an absolute blast. But now it is time for us to hit the road. Where are we headed tonight, babe? We are headed to the Sumter National Forest because it's en route to a rock hounding adventure. That means we have a state line to cross, huh? Yes, we're going south. And a whole lot of pretty to drive through on the way there. It feels good to be in a forest again, y'all. Well, guys, this is home for the night. Well, I am sure that it is not the best free camping spot that Sumter National Forest has to offer. That's okay, because we will not be here very long. No, we're not. We gotta wake up early tomorrow. And we're going to, I'll tell you tomorrow. For sunset to sunrise, this place will totally work. Are you ready yet? We gotta go, come on. Sun's up, I can see the dirt road. It's time to roll. You know where we're going? We're going crystal hunting. At Diamond Hill Crystal Mine. Let's go. All right, I'm working on this nice little burrow. I have some collectibles, mostly smoky quartz, which I haven't really dug for, so I'm really excited about it. But Kelsey just started squealing while she's body deep in this hole. Check out my amethyst. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for. There's totally more of it in this hole. It's gonna be hard to dig me out of here. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, we had to travel about 20 miles away from the mine back into the Sumter National Forest. We did go ahead and uh, park at this little free campground. It's $7 a night, definitely more than we usually like to pay, but nowhere near as bad as that state park that went at 50. Definitely the cheaper bargain here. We came out better, including the fuel and the campsite versus what we would have paid there. Unquestionably, it is starting to rain pretty bad though. So I think we might have to wait a minute before we go and clean up these crystals in the lake. Some of these crystals are absolutely insane. We don't actually know exactly what a lot of this is. And there's no internet service down here, so we won't know for a bit. What we do know is that we're going back tomorrow to find more.
Oh, check out this place. I like this little mountain lake. I've discovered if it says mountain and lake at the same time, it's gonna be a good stay. It's gonna be hard to leave this one, but I feel like we have a good reason. Oh yeah, it's time to go dig crystals. We put our filthy clothes back on and it's time to go. We found amethyst and smoky quartz and something called piggy quartz from the tiny bit of cell phone service that we were able to acquire last night, but it's time to go and find a whole lot more. Check out my booty. Muddy butt. It's gonna be super muddy today. It oh, rained yeah. all night last night. Come on, Dixie, let's go. Just like last night, we don't think that we're going to be able to make it somewhere that actually has a shower. But luckily, we do know where a little uh, not expensive campground is this close. <laughs> there's not a lot of uh, public land. In fact, there's almost none in this area. There are several lakes with a bunch of campgrounds. But those campgrounds are quite pricey in our opinion and we just don't like to pay that much to park. So we did find one that was affordable but apparently it was a gay men's clothing optional one and I was not welcome there. It's okay. We will get here tonight and get kind of cleaned up and then probably find somewhere to get a little bit more clean tomorrow. enjoyed that video because we certainly enjoyed making it. I do want to take the time to say thank you to a few of the people who made uh, this week so awesome, such as Doc Peppa and the entire crew at Angels Rest Hikers Haven. Guys, we are missing you already. And Mary, Kyle, and my boy Diesel. We are missing you already and uh, we're hoping that Sasquatch didn't get you out there in that forest. <laughs> right now we are going to spend uh, a little bit of time at this beautiful lake cleaning some crystals, getting ready for them, uh, or getting them ready uh, for a video for you on Wednesday. So be sure and tune in for that. Then we're gonna pack all those crystals back into the truck and we're gonna start our slow and very direct route to Arizona for the winter. I would like to thank each and every one of you for following us along through all of this. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below as well as the little notification bell and you'll get a notification every time we post a video and it could be on a lot of different things. Guys, if you're looking at, to contact us for any reason, you can do so through our Facebook and Instagram pages, both under Love Hut for Life or at lovehutforlife at gmail.com. We'll see you Wednesday. Peace out. Have a good one. Bye, y'all.